Hi Floss Tube, hi Stitchy friends. It's Jennifer and I'm stitching in the bluegrass and it is Friday, March 31st. And I know this because it is month end, but it has been a slow month end this month <laughs> at work. So I am working from home today and I'm on my lunch break. So I thought I would come on here and share with you all of this craziness in front of me. Um, I have to talk to you about Stacy Nash. I had to talk to you about the retreat. I have finishes. I have whips. I have plans. Um, I have all the things. This floss tube. So um, settle in and I hope you guys um, have fun with me and let's just go. Um, I don't even know where to start like there's so much stuff <laughs> in front of me it may not be all organized like i might show you a little bit of haul a little bit of this a little bit of that so um i will show you <laughs> i don't know where to start um let's just start here so i have been working uh this is my beth bag um one of the girls uh, that we meet up locally, she makes these bags and you know what's in here. Um, Teresa Kogut, for the love of nature. I have loved this. It is so much fun. Um, these are my colors. So I hope this video has okay lighting. I got like all the lights on in here cause it is a rainy day here in Kentucky. These are my colors and let's see, this is the pattern. This is my working copy, but um, so I had mentioned before on the last video that I wanted to start on the deer, but I did not have that thread color. Well, I do now. So we went to Fancy Works. Um, that is a, I guess it would be my LNS, although it's not very local. Um, it is in Bloomington, Indiana. And I got the thread that I needed. So I have started working on my deer. And then let's see. How am I going to show this? I got lighting everywhere, but, um, so there we go. Isn't he so pretty? And this is with Classic Colorworks Caramel. And I just love him. He is gorgeous. And this is what I have. I am doing this on 36 count peanut by Be Stitch Me. And that is showing up pretty good as far as the color. Kind of has a little rosy tone to it. Um, but yeah, I love it. I'm, I just, I love this. I cannot wait. Um, this has been my, kind of my go-to stitch lately. Um, it's just so much fun to stitch the animals and I love that border. So, put it back in my bag. But yeah, I love it. This has my, been my go-to lately. I'm just going to start throwing stuff on the floor. Um, at the Fancy Works Retreat, which is hosted by Diana, which is the owner of the shop, and a couple of um, the other workers there. I, I don't want to forget someone, so I don't want to mention names, but all the ladies there are absolutely wonderful. I know Diana had a lot of help with the retreat, and she is the sweetest person, um, but throughout the retreat. So last year we went 
And throughout the retreat, like almost every day, you get some kind of new little trinket or a gift on your table. And this year was no exception. So we got these adorable, they were all different colors. This is just the one that I ended up with. Um, these are pin cushions. And they are made with these hoops and there's a wood uh, backing. I don't know exactly how they were done. I don't know if you can find them like as a kit somewhere, but I love these. They're so well made. Um, so, and then we had a couple little pins that were in there. Some I have already put on different projects, but I love this. It is so nice. And I just love that it's in a hoop. So very creative. I don't know who actually made them. Otherwise, I would let you know. But they are wonderful. And then we got a... I don't know how well this will show up. Oh, yeah. We got a Fancy Works Corner Gauge which I collect these. I love them. I have several from Fancy Works, but they don't have uh, the shop name on them. So I, they were like wood. So I wrote on the back Fancy Works and then the year. <laughs> but this one, um, it says Fancy Works down there and um, it has the address and, you know, their phone number. But I love this. This was a great, like, I was so surprised. I was so happy about this because I do collect them. Um, what else did we get? <laughs> oh, we got these uh, cute little canisters, and you can put your needles in there. Um, they just screw on. And then she even gave us some needles that were inside and then you are ready to go. Whoops. Get in there. So yeah, very cute. Um, you can hang them, you know, in a project bag or just keep them in your stitching. But that was a lot of fun. Um, we got these I want to say these were actually from the the flower here was from Fancy Works the flower pen. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I should have done this right when I got home. But I think these little eggs were from Susan. Um, they are little felted eggs. They're so sweet. I put them in my little spring stitching basket. And I put the little pin on there. It's so cute. I love them. Mom and I uh, walked around the gift shop. And we saw this guy. Prevent wildfires. It's Smokey the Bear. And it's a pin. We are going to take the pin off and make it a needle minder. We did this last year. They had some... Um, little arrowheads that said McCormick Creek State Park, where it's at Canyon Inn, is actually where the um, retreat takes place. It's in a national park. It's National State Park. Uh, it is beautiful. Like, you couldn't ask for a better place to have a retreat. But last year, they had little arrowheads, and they said McCormick Creek State Park. And we did the same thing with them, made them needle minders. So we'll do the same with Smokey the Bear. So that was fun. I'm trying to put things, I'm trying to go from here to here. Um, I got a little sticker and it says McCormick Creek State Park on it and it's a butterfly. I got my husband one um, and it has like a waterfall, but I thought I might put this on one of my project bags or whatever, but we always love decals. 
and I got this cute um, bunny foot and it's a waxer. It is so cute. And then our friend Sherry, um, she gave us the fees, I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, let's see. The camera's over here. It's a little bunny. And this has a little carrot, a little silver carrot, and some bunny floss drops. And this color is uh, the Gentle Arts. And I believe this is one, it doesn't have a color, just a special edition, limited edition. Um, it's gorgeous. I love that color, like a peachy rose. I don't like light pastel colors, but it, it's not very light. It's, you know, bright, colorful. But these are so sweet. Can you see the bunny and the floss drop? Um, I don't, I just, I, it's like, I don't, I don't know what to show you next. I, you know, that, that I finished, uh, the chocolate bunny from Teresa Kogut. This is in the primitive and punch needle or punch needle and primitive magazine. Um, I'd have to pull it out to remember what it's called. Um, and it was from the 2020 spring issue. And I showed you my finish last time. Well, I finished it into a cute little pillow. And then our friend Vicki gave us um, this bunny pin. And there was two, I got two bunny pins and a little egg pin. But they're already in, on other pillows, on my other spring pillows. But he just fit perfectly on this. So I put um, a little fabric down here at the bottom and oh, there's thread, there's threads everywhere. Um, finished it with this, this fabric that I just had, but I think it turned out so cute. I am not the best finisher. I do not claim to be a finisher. I, but I'd rather them be sitting out than just tucked away in a drawer somewhere. So this, we're just going to go with it. <laughs> but I love how he turned out. And I don't like them real puffy. So I like them full, but kind of flat. So <laughs> I try to squeeze them together. Um... But yeah, oh, everything turned away. There you go. So what I usually do is after I um, finish them and get them stitched up, I take the iron again and then press to try to flatten it out. So I don't, like I said, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. It looks wonky on film, but it's not, I think it's just how I'm holding it. Anyway, I'm sure it is wonky, <laughs> but that's, we're just going to go with it. So I finished that on the floor. Um, this we also got at the retreat. So Diana asked Stacy Nash to um, make us an exclusive, and that was their gift to us for the retreat this year. This is uh, Stacy Nash Pronus. She was also there and she had um, all her new market and some, uh, not old patterns, but some of her older things there. And this is called French Flea Market Pen Keep, designed exclusively for Fancy Works. And it is so sweet. I. So during the retreat, you know how hard it is. If you've ever been to a retreat or even just a gathering with friends, you know how hard it is to stitch. 
because all you want to do is talk about stitching <laughs> and like what's been going on and what's going on in your life and you know everything you you do don't want to always sit there and just stitch and put your head down because you get to hang out with other stitchers and how fun is that? So I started on this because it's solid one color. Um, I didn't have to worry about changing colors. It was very simple to do and I absolutely loved it. So I finished it. I finished the stitching at retreat and then I came home and I finished it all up. And I love this so much. I'm so proud of myself for doing it. Um, I put walnut shells. There's walnut shells, like a good layer of uh, lavender scented walnut shells on the bottom. And then the rest I stuffed um, on top with polyfill. So that's why it's kind of, you know, how it is kind of wonky because there's walnut shells in there and polyfill. Um, but I put this little pin in there. Um, she gave us the ribbon. She gives everything we needed. Uh, this is my, the backing fabric. And my, look at those scissors and the bird. And then this ribbon is attached to the scissors. She gave us the scissors. And I made my very first strawberry. He is so wonky. <laughs> like the strawberry part looks great, but y'all, I don't know. I might have to redo that green or I might just leave it. But how cute is that? It's a pin cushion with your scissors and a little strawberry. I love it. So uh, thank you, Stacy Nash and Diana for this gift. I just kind of wrap my ribbon around. I slide my scissors kind of in there and I have it laying in my stitching tray. It's so hard to show what it looks like, but I think I post, I'm pretty sure I did. I posted a video on my Instagram. So yeah, absolutely love that. That was so fun. Like I wanna do another one. I wanna do it again and again and again. It was a lot of fun. Um, let's just show this since it's sitting in front of me. I picked this up. This is Threadworks. I picked this up at Fancy Works. Um, I just thought these colors looked like ice cream. Like that Superman ice cream. But I just thought it was so pretty and colorful. And I don't know. I just had to have it. Just one of those things. Uh, while I was there, I did work a little bit on Elizabeth Charnelay. This is from Lottie Daw. Excuse my nails. Sorry. I'm really enjoying this one. And oops. let's show you. These are my colors. I'm using all the called for. It's a mix of Weeks and DMC. I always forget that my camera's on this side. So, yes, I love it those colors and I got a little bit done not a lot but uh, last time I had finished my bird so I got this urn done and then this star there or, or square or triangle or whatever it's not a triangle um, block we're gonna say that 
um, here. And I finished some more of the flowers. And this is on 36 count hog bristle by Fox and Rabbit. So, like I said, not a lot. Um, so the first night we got there was Thursday and we had to, um, uh, change rooms. You know, we're in, the, we're in the state park, not mad about it, but there was ants in the bathroom, like a lot of ants in the bathroom and we didn't want the ants we had brought food in with us because mom and I both have special diets and we didn't want the ants to get in our food so they moved us we did not get to bed the first night until it was like one o'clock and we had drove I think it took us about three and a half hours to get there which is not a long haul considering I drive two hours to get to work but we were just tired. So the first day was kind of a bust. Uh, I shouldn't say that. As far as stitching goes, it was a bust. Uh, we got there, we met up with our friends and we went to Fancy Works and shopped. And then we went to dinner, went back to the hotel or to the inn and kind of got situated uh, put in a couple stitches and then it was, you know, like midnight or 11 or so. So we went to bed. But while I was at the Fancy Works, haul was had. Um, I got some new colors. Um, I'm just going to show you. This is Green with Envy. This is Gentle Arts. This is, oh, that's not, that one's not new. This is 10 bucket, 10, like the metal, T-I-N. Um, and I got, this is Weeks Mountain Mist. Pretty color. I got Weeks Sun Dried. And I'm pretty sure these are all new releases from Market. And then Weeks Chia. So those are some new colors that I got. Not a whole lot, but you know, I like those colors. And then my friend Sharon, she gave me some Forbidden Fiber Co thread. Um, I love these dark colors like this. Um, this one's dark cherry and witch's brew. I have, I don't know anything about Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, I don't know about their fabric or their threads. So she gave me two of these to try. Um, they're very pretty colors. And then when I was a little girl, I don't know if you guys want to know this stuff, but when I was a little girl, um, I had a brown bear that I carried around all the time and his name was Brown Bear. So I was gathering some floss and I saw this Gentle Arts Brown Bear. And yes, I still have my Brown Bear, even though he is Brown Bear number two because brown bear number one, I don't know what happened. I forget. I'll have to ask mom what the story was, but um, you know how we do as parents. But I had to get this because it says brown bear. <laughs> and then I think, okay, so this one I have showed a couple times. Um, the one that mom and I are going to do for my Mima, her mother, Geneva Underwood. Um, what Love Remains, I think um, we have found the fabric. 
So while I was at Fancy Works, I did kitting up basically is what I spent most of my um, fun money on. But I got my colors and you know, classic Blackbird colors, gorgeous. And I believe we are going to use, this is a 35 count um, old New England linen from the Primitive Hair. Oh, it's so pretty. And it smells so good. <sighs> I need more of this fabric in my life. But mom usually stitches on 32. Um, I usually stitch on 32 or 36. And I stitch on 14 count. It does not matter to me. Um, so, yeah. So, I think... We are going to use this with these colors. I can't show you. This is hard to show, but I we loved this fabric and it looks like it will be easy to see because we both do not have good eyeballs, but I think that's gonna be very, very pretty. Mom, here it is, all opened, and I'm sure it looks like we have a good chunk. So we will have quite a bit left over. So yeah, I think I need to find, it smells so good, y'all. Like, it smells like coffee and old books. <laughs> so, um, he is ready. So mom and I just need to get together and find time to do it. And I put this project in my special Michael bag. So mom and I will be passing this bag back and forth and she'll stitch a little and I'll stitch a little and she'll stitch a little and I'll stitch a little and then um, maybe someday soon we will get it finished. Someday soon. Like maybe next year. So, that was that. So, we were super excited. So, another kidding up that I did while I was at Fancy Works is you guys know that I found this on eBay, Glad Tidings. Let me tell you, I found the perfect linen for this. Look at that. Okay. See this? Look how perfect. I mean, so good. So, I am super excited to start this one. And then I got all my threads. They're not even on a ring yet, but I got my threads ready. Oh, it's gonna be so good. <laughs> I'm so excited. Do you get like that? Do you get like so excited when you kit stuff up? But I just, I could not get over. Oh, let me tell you what this is. This is 30, 32 count Claire. And I don't know who makes it, but it's 32 count C-L-A-I-R-E. So I'm going to have to find out. It doesn't say. But if y'all could see this in person... Like, oh, that's bad. It looks better out here. I mean, it's just, it's so good. It's so perfect. So, I was so excited. 
see how excited like when you get to go to a shop because it's just so cool to see everything in person, like in, like to feel it and to see it. Um, I also, um, I got this at Fancy Works. This is 32 count Cecil by Seraphim. And this is gorgeous. This would have worked well with that too. That just, that other one is just so perfect for that. Um, let's see, 36 count affogato, affogato. Fiber, fiber on a whim, that one's marked. But this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like if Legacy and Heritage had a baby. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I love it. It's like perfect sampler color. Um, that is old. So, I also got to meet Tammy Blaylock. Uh, if you don't know her, she is Creative Country Girl on Etsy. And um, you know how like when you see someone and you think you know them and then you realize you've been chatting with them on the Instagram? This was uh, Tammy. So screenshot her card here if you would like. Creative Country Girl on Etsy. Uh, she lives in Indiana. She was so sweet and so glad that I got to meet her and talk to her. Um, she does amazing things. But she had these project bags there. And I love this. I'm going to put it up close. It's little hoops with stitching and thread. And just this ribbon across here, it's so pretty. And this is the back. And look at her little tag here. So, and then she gives you this so you can slide a card in there, you can write your project. But what I thought was super cool was this thing on the inside and you can clip your floss drops to this and they don't get lost in your project bag. I love that. I thought that was the coolest thing. So Tammy, your bags are fabulous. And then I also got this one. I'll hold it close so you can see the fabric. And look at this little pom-pom trim. And the same, it has a little thing in there. And I put my, uh, what I put inside was my heartstring samplery Sunday stitches. I did not kit any of this up. Um, I will probably Kit them up with some of my color and cotton. Like I said, I wanted to start the Blessed Assurance first. I have already showed you this <laughs> um, probably a couple times, but uh, that's what I put in here because it's nice and a nice big bag so I could fit on my floss, my book, and my fabric in there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in this one yet, but I'm sure I'll find something. Okay. So again, create, oops, sorry, Creative Country Girl, Tammy Blaylock. Such a sweetheart. I really enjoyed chatting with her. So they had a freebie table. I'm not going to show you all the things that I got, but I did want to show you a couple things. Um, this was on the freebie table. 
this already stitched. I don't know who stitched it, but it is super sweet and I will take good care of it and make him a little pillow and set him out um, for fall because I love it. It is so nicely done. I could not just let it sit there. Save the stitches. Um, I got a couple other little things. This was on the freebie table. This is Little House Needleworks Snow White. I thought this was very pretty. And you could choose any kind of color fabric. I mean, obviously you wouldn't want white, but how fun would this be to do like a pretty blue opalescent or something? I don't know, but I just loved it. I have wanted this one forever. This is Bent Creek, uh, what's it called? The Pumpkin Flower Sampler. So this was on the freebie table. Um, this one, I love this. Um, this is JBW Designs Christmas Alphabet. Uh, this is Judy Whitman. And this is amazing. This will be stitched. I got this on the freebie table because I loved it. This is the City Stitcher. This is Willow Tree Sampler. The City Stitcher. I love a good Willow Tree. Um, let's see. This was on the freebie table. A sheltering tree by All Through the Night. And look at this. This was on the freebie table. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to stitch it on there, on here. Um, this is 18 count lemongrass. I am not sure who the designer is, but I believe I. How pretty was that going to be? That tree on that green. Mm. So I just tucked it away inside, inside the pattern. It was originally stitched on putty, which putty does have a green cast to it, or at least the putty that I have. Um, but yeah, so I got that. Let's see, I got some other things. I got this one. This is The Stars Are Brightly Shining by Heartstring Samplery. So sweet. Um, this was on the freebie table, Spread Kindness, Heart in Hand. This is very cute. I love penguins. Um, this was uh, from Fancy Works Plum Pudding Needle Art. It's called Ready for Santa. Look at the cardinal in that little penguin's hat. Um, I got this one, a Rabbit Valley Studio from Fancy Works. Give it to God and go to sleep. And the sheep's like, don't you need me? She's like, no, I'm good. Um, let's see. This one is Patini. Pat and this was on the freebie table. Um, who I don't know who put it up there. But they also brought it to show and tell. And they had show and tell. Um, what, do you, what do you call it? Show and tell. I don't know. Um, but this is called Dog Lovers. We have four dogs. You know this. So dog lovers live here. But they had it finished and setting on the, um, what do you call that table <laughs> that everybody puts their stuff on that they've stitched? It's not show and tell. What is that word? Anyway. 
So yeah, so that was sweet. Um, I had got a couple other things. I mean, I got this one. This is Heart and Hand uh, Family Medley. It says, you and I side by side, wherever we roam, this will always be our home. So yeah, so I think I did really good for the freebie table. And uh, if I showed your pattern, thank you for sharing that and passing it along so we can stitch it again and then I will pass it along when I'm finished. <sighs> Where are we at? 40 minutes? 40 minutes. Um, I did some finishing. Uh, this is one that I did. Okay, so I told you guys I am not a good finisher, but I was tired of having some of my things in a drawer, tucked away, so why not do something with them? Um, this, this is our, this is our address. Um, but I made him a little pillow. I put a little strip of fabric here and a little strip down here, and then here's my back. Um, I forget where the, I forget the designer, but I shared my finish with you guys before. Um, so I did that. I finished him up and again, I forget, forget the designer, but this is the quirky Quaker snail. And I just made him a little pillow you can tuck him away in my little basket of pillows. <laughs> um, this one is, I'm like, what am I going to do with this? I don't, I, it's got fuzz all over it, but, um, not fuzz, but polyfill. I love this. I loved stitching it. I love everything about this. This is something, uh, it's from Lottie Daw. Um, long row alphabet, but it's a Lottie Daw pattern. And I stitched this, I don't know, maybe two years ago. And I made him a fun long pillow and then just put some big check plaid black and white on the back. Um, so yeah. He will be cute hanging out. Maybe this will be my screenshot. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, so that was fun. And then I have a, a little, I will tell you something silly because this is my channel and I want this to be a record of things. Mom and I found these cross stitch magazines on, she's going to kill me, um, on the freebie table, the world of cross stitching. There's another one. I wish she was here to do this with me. So each night before we would go to bed, she would flip through this and she would tell me a story <laughs> because that's what we do. She would tell me a story. There was a little mouse. She liked to save the world. But she never went far from home. Like, this, this is what we would do. And then she would tell me a story every night. So when I got home, I handed these to my husband. And I was like, will you tell me a bedtime story? <laughs> he looked at me like I was crazy. And I am, probably. But, you know, we have fun with it. <laughs> That's what we do. Um... Now, I got some market haul. Some is from Fancy Work. Some is what I ordered. Um, so, here we go. A little bit of haul. There's not a whole bunch. Um, I got this at Fancy Works. Uh, another decal. Cross stitch your own board. I love this. So sweet. Cute little sticker. 
Um, I also got this. This is Heartstring Samplery. Um, this is the Float Like a Butterfly, Sting Like a Bee. Did I get the pattern? No. Did I get this? Yes. And it has a magnet here. The bead is too heavy, but it has a magnet right here. And then you can put your floss. Nice little metal board. I found this at Fancy Works. Um, I, this is 2022, but I got this at Fancy Works on our trip. A Tisket, a Tasket, a book of stitched baskets. Y'all need this. The, this is, I'm sorry, this is from Needlework Press. Um, I cannot show you, well, let's see. How do I, how can I do this? I need something to cover this. Up. This has the cutest designs in here. Like they, they are so sweet. So yeah, I'm super excited to have this. It says on the back, this is the second in our series of cross stitch booklets featuring elements from samplers. The first was an illustrated ABC. Next in the series will be tiny houses picked from samplers. Watch for it in 2023. So I don't know if it is already out. I need to look for the first one as well. But this is a wonderful book. Of little basket projects. And it tells you about where they got the patterns from. Like, um... Like if it was from this sampler or that sampler or whatever. Anyway, great book. Love it. Um, I got this from Stacy Nash. This is Pretty in Pink Pen Keep. I know there's a glare. But I love that. I also got this one from Stacy Nash. This is Sarah's sewing bag. And then on the inside, these sweet little baskets. I got Anne Perrin, Perrin, 1841 by Jeanette Douglas Designs. It says, let the sweet work of prayer and praise employ my youngest breath. Thus I'm prepared for longer days or fit for early death. She was 14 and she stitched this April 19th, 1841. And there she is stitched up again. And here she is, the original. So pretty. Such a pretty design. She did, I mean, 14 years old. And then, there also, I just saw this. There also, she took elements of the sampler and created two, these little smalls from it. I'll have to open and look inside and see how that was done. Uh-oh, dogs are barking. 
I'm almost done. Um, this is Teresa Kogut's Beauty Fades. I had to have this. It says, youth is but a fleeting, youth is, sorry, youth is fleeting and beauty fades, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. <sighs> Look at that. It has everything. It has flower baskets. It has a girl. It has birds. It has a little village scene. It has yellow roses. It has the alphabet. It has a dog. It has trees. Like, <sighs> so cute. I also got this one. This is um, Needle and Flax, Teresa Kogut. Got our little pin cushion and our spinning wheel and just all the things. I got this one. So this was a retreat piece. My friend Steph was stitching it and I about died. And then I realized that she told me it was coming out. She was re-releasing it at market. So uh, I owe this to Steph Easter Day. Go find her on Instagram. Um, every opening flower by Brenda Gervais. Steph has finished this and there's a picture on her Instagram and it is amazing. Steph is a amazing stitcher. It's so pretty. I love that willow tree. So pretty. And then I got my very first heart in hand, a honey of a tiny town. I had to get this one. So mom has the blooming tiny town and I just noticed it was on the back. So mom, you wanna do a tiny town sow? I can do this one. You can do, you can start stitching this one. Mother. I don't call her mother. I call her mama. But yeah, so I got that. And then I got two freebies. Um, I don't know what the thing is on showing freebies. I'm just going to show you. This one has a picture. This is heart and hand. This was a um, exclusive for, um, what do you call it? We've, we're 52 minutes in and I've lost my brain. Um, at market, <laughs> this is um, heart and hand. It says, do what you love. And it is this little pin cushion. Do what you love. It has a little stitch. Do what you love. So sweet. And then the other one, we got a freebie. It's called Hey Friend. It is a Teresa Kogut. And it is two girls stitching. And it says, hey friend, let's stitch. So I'm going to quickly show you, this was another market exclusive freebie. So cute. Um, I think that's all. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> it's on sweet tea. Um, I'm looking around. I think that is all. Um, thanks you for hanging in there with me, but I had to show you guys and I had so much fun at the retreat. If you're able to go to a retreat or even just get together with other stitchers, I highly encourage you to do so. Um, it is so much fun and we always have a good time when we get together and you can tell you can see the fun that I'm having. I don't think the smile has left my face and I'm just talking about retreat. And we just had a great weekend with all of our friends and Diana from Fancy Works. 
thank you and thank you again to everyone that um gifted and shared and um thanks to Stacy Nash for coming and showing us all her beautiful work but um I don't nobody watches this <laughs> I mean no Stacy Nash is not going to watch this but I mean, like, I just have to say it. I just have to say thank you because we had such a fabulous time. So um, I hope that you'll leave a comment. Tell me what you've been stitching. Um, just, you know, if you want to chat, let's chat. So I will see you guys again and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.